The Alberta Ingenuity Center for Water Research uh, is intending to uh, work on two elements with respect to uh, knowledge uh, for Alberta. First of all, knowledge discovery uh, is an objective whereby we need to know more about the nature of our water, the condition of it in the natural state as well as the requirements for treatment, purification for our drinking water as well as treatment of our effluent supplies. We're also uh, committed towards uh, novel applications. Uh, water has been used, of course, for millennia and treated for millennia, but there are some emerging technologies that improve the efficiency and reduce the cost of water treatment, uh, both for our use and also for uh, use in other applications. Problems related to water are huge. They're very high in the public's perception, and the expectations from the public are very, very high. When we created the Alberta Engineering Center for Water Research, one of the things that we wanted to do was to identify um, a few very important problems and then draw researchers from across the province to try to tackle those problems. And what the things we tried to do was to break down barriers among institutions, for example, to enable researchers to collaborate and to have students and postdoctoral researchers working together on trying to solve those problems. The problems are big, the talent is there, we needed to try to match the talent with the problems. My colleagues in this field and myself, we deal with issues uh, that uh, have to do with different things. For example, uh, if you're talking about the water treatment side, uh, if you're dealing with the groundwater supplies, then you might be dealing with arsenic issues, right? In terms of removing arsenic from groundwater. If you're dealing with surface water supplies, you might be dealing with issues related uh, to uh, pathogenic microorganisms, such as Cryptosporidium or uh, Giardia, so you have to remove them from your water, or it can be uh, related to other things such as uh, simple as turbidity of the water. I think one of our major contributions um, over the last few years has been uh, to support the education and development of new um, highly trained water personnel in the province. Uh, through the efforts of the funding from our centre, um, we have funded probably more than 200 undergraduate graduate students and postdoctoral researchers who are working in those four theme areas that I talked to about watersheds, aquatic ecology, um, safe and secure water supplies, and also legal um, and economic implications of policy. So, what should we be doing? We're looking around for the province for the issues that are going to make a difference, and there's no shortage of those. Look at uh, climate change, look at the development of the economy and the impact that that will have on the environment. Look at water. Water's in short supply in Alberta. In the south, we need it for dry lands agriculture. In the middle, we've got this huge influx of population. And in the north, um, I guess they say that every barrel of oil needs five barrels of water. We've got a fair bit of water here, but not enough for all of that. And so we've got some big choices to make over the next while. Yeah.